Hello YouTube, this is Elzer Day 101. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recharge your air conditioner, uh, make your air like ice cold, or how to force your clutch to engage on the compressor. Uh, first things first, I'm just going to try to explain how this works a little bit. You have refrigerant called R134A in these lines. This is what uh, cools your system down, and uh, it's basically the main coolant in it all. This also doubles as like an oil or lubricant in the compressor. My compressor is right there, and on the outside of this is the clutch. Uh, electronic signal goes to the clutch, which is basically a magnet, and it forces the clutch to spin. Uh, sometimes your clutch won't engage, and that'll make your hot your uh, air conditioning. It'll make it very warm because the compressor's not even on. The reason why this happens is because you have low pressure in your uh, coolant. This right here is a high, low pressure line and this is a high pressure line. The sensor is on the high pressure line and uh, if you have a two wire sensor you can go ahead and short that out and that will make your clutch automatically engage and uh, if you have a three wire sensor you can't do that and I'm going to tell you why. I'll also tell you why you'd want to. Uh, the reason you can't short this out is because it senses between zero and 450 pounds and if you short it out the computer will think it has 450 pounds and that will make your drivetrain do all kinds of wacky things so if it has two wires you can short it out three wires stay away from it the reason you'd want to do this in the first place is to force the compressor to turn on and then you can fill your coolant back up uh, when you are low in coolant it basically means you have a leak somewhere so instead of just in putting in more coolant which is this stuff also put in a bottle of stop leak and that'll help uh, find the leak indicate where it is or help plug it all together and now this is hit and miss sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but uh... that's what you want to do and now i'm going to show you how to make your air conditioning ice cold if your air conditioning is kind of warm but it's still kind of cold uh... that probably it still has a little bit of chill to it that probably means that your compressor uh... isn't uh, I mean is kicked on but you might be a little low on uh, coolant so you're gonna wanna get one of these uh, adapt little cords right here it's got a pressure sensor on the end and then it's got a quick connect uh, what you're gonna wanna do is start your car and turn the air on max so that way everything's going as fast speed and you can read it all I'm gonna do that now see that the clutch wasn't engaged that's because I don't have it turned on to AC there we go the clutch is now engaged so I'm going to unscrew my quick connect on the low valve low pressure valve make sure you don't lose this now I'm going to hook up this My pressure is reading at about 42, 42 pounds of pressure. You want it right around 40 pounds of pressure. You want it between about 25 and 55. Higher and, and in the middle is best. If it's too low, the, the pressure sensor is not going to let the clutch kick in for the compressor. And if it's too high, you can damage your parts. just make sure that your pressure is uh, at a good stable level and high enough where there's liquid in it and you will have ice cold air okay now some people watch this video because their clutch isn't kicking in well the reason is that, that is is because it's not sensing enough pressure in the uh, uh, low pressure line to be able to kick on, I mean the high pressure line, excuse me, 
it's not sensing enough pressure to tell the computer to kick on the clutch. Well, if your compressor's not turned on, you can't fill up your liquid anymore. So what you have to do is locate your air compressor relay. For me, it's relay B. Pull it out and then read the numbers. There should be a number 30 and a number 87. 30 is the positive uh, supply line, which is from the battery. And 87 is the power line going to the compressor. So what you're going to want to do is short these out with the paper clip. So for me, I'm shorting out uh, connector B1 and connector B3. Or actually it's B4. Connector B1 and B4. So I'm going to short that out real quick. So you can see it right there. This isn't going to hurt your car at all, so don't worry. As long as you uh, put in the right uh, holes, actually. If you have any quest questions, make sure you ask someone. I'm sure anyone can help you. Okay, so now I'm going to start it. But the way I'm going to prove to you that this is how you force the clutch to kick in and turn on the compressor is I want to leave the air conditioner in the off position. But the clutch will still be kicked in and the condi air conditioner or air compressor will still be running. Okay, there's a paper clip. And there's the clutch kicked in. Now, when I remove the paper clip, the clutch turns off. So, uh, you want to force your compressor to turn on, but make sure you have it on the AC position. And while your compressor is turned on, fill it up with liquid. And I'll show you how to do that. You want to screw in one of these bottles to this adapter. Screw it into this adapter after you've read the pressure. And then unscrew this, screw this in to puncture it. And then unscrew it a little bit so that way it's flowing out. And then hook this into your thing, and it's going to fill it up. You're going to want to shake it a little bit while you're putting it in. But that's how you do it. And then after you have it filled back up, uh, check the pressure again. And if the pressure's good, then the clutch should kick in by itself again. So just unhook the paper clip, put in the regular relay, and it should be working good on its own. So that's how you can make your air ice cold, how to force your clutch to kick in, and how to recharge your system. So... If my video helped you out, please subscribe and comment. Thank you.